Hi, I'm Samalia Samantha Payne here at the Museum of Sydney's Governor's Table restaurant for Guardian Australia. Today we're going to be talking about tips and advice for ordering wine at a restaurant. You've walked into the restaurant on a date or with friends or with work colleagues and you've been presented with this daunting document that we call a wine list. What do you do? So my first advice is have a look at the menu, see what the restaurant's all about and then sit down and have a look at the wine list. The top three things that I would ask myself are, do you want to drink red or white? Are you after something lighter in style or more dense and rich? And then thirdly, do you want something fruit driven in style or quite savoury? Those three questions alone you can answer in about 30 seconds and you've, de you've basically deconstructed and knocked off 75% of that wine list. So you've chosen your wine and the sommelier comes over to bring you a taster of it. Thank you, Andre. Perfect. So there's three things that you want to look at when you're assessing if a wine is suitable for you or not. Uh, have a look at the colour and you're looking for things like uh, brownish, rustish tinges through your wine because that's a sign that the wine's been oxidised. So whether it was under cork or under stealth enclosure, it just means that there's too much air that's gotten into the bottle. So having a look at this, looks fantastic to me. So then, just a couple of really light swirls. You don't want the wine to go shooting out of the glass and onto your guests. You just want to swirl it just to get a little bit of air in that because air is wine's friend. It's going to open it up and show all those beautiful, lovely characters. Now you're just taking a smell. So what you're doing when you're looking at the sort of the scents of the wine, you want to see uh, looking for things like cork taint, which will generally smell like wet dog or wet cardboard. You're also looking for things like oxidization, which to me a lot of the time smells like that very acetone nail polish remover scent. So I've had a smell, it all smells great. And the last bit is try. tastes delicious. There's no oxidization, there's none of that wet dog characteristic in there. All I'm tasting is really beautiful fruit and lots of lively characters. So if you don't like the wine that you've ordered, feel free to enter in that conversation with your sommelier and just be like, hey, this isn't exactly what I was looking for. Um, and they'll be more than willing to help you and to find something that you will like, because we don't want you to leave the restaurant unhappy. So for one final tip, there's a great app out there called Winosphere. Um, it's a great tool for you to be able to remember the wines that you've had after the end of the night. Because if you're anything like me, there's been numerous bottles consumed and I will be damned if I can remember what they were the next day. So in this wonderful digital age, take a quick photo, take, you know, plug it into the Winosphere app uh, so that you can remember them, so you can buy them in retail stores. Or at least to enter in that conversation next time you're at the restaurant and say, hey, I really enjoyed this wine, have you got anything similar? I've produced close to 20 styles, probably over 20 styles. I want to say I probably built this whole system under $5,000.